Welcome into this special edition of WVA News at 6. So glad that you've joined us tonight. We're coming to you live from the University of Alabama campus tonight. That's right. I'm Terry Brewer in for Philip Coleman tonight. It's a big weekend at the Capstone. That's because tomorrow is the Iron Bowl, the University of Alabama Crimson Tide, and the Auburn Tigers will face off tomorrow in Bryant-Denny Stadium. Yeah, it's a it's going to be a big one uh, since 1893. These schools have met 76 times. Alabama won last year's game 42 to 14 and the teams are ho and Bama hoping to repeat that success this year and clinch their spot in the SEC championship in Atlanta. And uh, one person that knows a whole lot about this game and all the other ones that the Tide plays are bit. our very own sports director, <laughs> Gary Harris. Well, you know, it's interesting. We're sitting out here tonight right off of University Boulevard. Mm -hmm. It's kind of quiet, of course, yeah. after Thanksgiving. But, but by is. tomorrow, it'll be at a fever pitch. You know, the, the Walk of Champions, located in the North End Zone Plaza, is where head coaches have statues built that have won national championships. Nick Saban has already got a statue. We know that. And he's got two dates under that, 2009, 2011. If all goes as planned for Alabama fans, they'll be adding 2012 on that statue very soon. Alabama needs to win tomorrow against Auburn then defeat Georgia in the SEC championship game a week from tomorrow in Atlanta and then play in the BCS championship game in Miami against a team to be determined, Notre Dame, if they win in January to get that third title for Nick Saban. Now, as far as the Iron Bowl is concerned, we can't sugarcoat it. Alabama's a 33-point favorite for a reason, Terry and Lynn. they got a better football team. Alabama's 10-1, and one, Auburn's 3-8. and eight. Auburn has not won a game in the SEC. It would be, I, I, I will tell you this, we could honestly say we had never seen anything like mm -hmm. it. It would be the biggest upset in Iron Bowl history if Auburn won the game. Now, having said that, they're an in-state rival. They did play LSU to a 12-10 to 10 game earlier this season. We know Alabama was very fortunate to beat LSU, so the tie can't take anything for granted. But Alabama, a prohibitive favorite. And if the game goes as scripted, in other words, if Alabama plays well, I think uh, tomorrow night Crimson Tide fans all across the state will be very happy, and Auburn fans will be disappointed in saying wait till next year. All right. And uh, what they all need, Alabama and Auburn alike, some good weather. You know, if you're heading out tonight shopping or maybe tomorrow, of course, for the Iron Bowl, uh, you need some good weather. Yeah, you may want to grab that jacket. Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott joins us now with a first look at your home team forecast. Hi, Richard. Hey guys, Lynn, Terry, Gary, good Friday evening to you. Getting cooler tonight. That's one trend you'll notice through the day tomorrow as well. 56 Tuscaloosa, 55 Birmingham, and cold front clearly making it through our state tonight. And as that happens, it's going to get a lot colder tonight. We'll have that clear sky now after the cloud cover moved through this afternoon. This evening starting to clear out. No rain associated with that, just a little bit of mist earlier. But again, even that's gone now. But here's the big forecast tomorrow. Iron Bowl, Alabama taking on Auburn. We're talking 50s early in the game. We'll like to be in the 40s for much of the game at Bryant Denny Stadium. So it's going to get cold in a hurry. 2.30 kickoff. It gets chilly, but it gets a lot colder tomorrow night. We've got the full details in your forecast. That's coming up, so stick around. Thanks a lot, Richard. Lots more Iron Bowl coverage in just a moment. But first, another story we're following here locally. That's right. A family in the Buell area is recovering after they lost their home to a house fire on Thanksgiving night. It happened on Romulus Road. Now neighbors say passersby noticed smoke coming from the top of the home and called 911. The woman and her son who lived there were able to get out of the house, but the house was a total loss. And back on the UA campus, campus has been swept today with a sea of crimson and white and blue and orange on the way, which means only one thing, the big game almost finally here. Yeah, the countdown uh, winding down. Terry fans from both sides rushing to the campus to secure their spots for tailgating. And normally you can see all the way across the quad, but today that view was blocked by the hundreds of tents that are going up. And along with the tents, RVs are also pouring into town. Bama fans say they believe this game will be a blowout, but they caution this rivalry is known to have several surprises. 52 to 6. And that game kicks off but tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. The tie going into this one 10 and 1. Auburn, meanwhile, 3 and 8. But again, you never know with this matchup. Exactly. And here is some information to help you through your Iron Bowl Saturday. Now, tailgating set up on the quad starts 6 o'clock Friday, so right about now. And then, of course, don't miss WVUA's Alabama Game Day Advantage with Danny Salter. That's coming up at 630. And start your Saturday morning with Crimson Tide kickoff and WVUA's Gary Harris live from the Bryant Museum. 
That's at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Also, the Bryant Museum will be open 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. on Saturday. And Alabama's home game means Alabama game day advantage is coming your way this evening. You'll want to join WVUA's Danny Salter tonight at 630. He'll be talking about all the exciting things happening on the UA campus, including all the information on the game and some fun things you can do on the quad. Danny will be talking with Alabama practice referee Eddie Conyers. That's tonight, right after this newscast, live from the Bryant Museum. You want to get the advantage, the Alabama game day advantage. We've got it tonight at 630 right here on WVUA-TV. And, of course, you don't want to miss Crimson Tide kickoff tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. for all things college football. And Gary Harris will have complete game day coverage with special guests, a breakdown of the week's SEC matchups, and feature stories on the Tide. That's Saturday morning only on WVUA-TV.